By now, you should have provisioned Ubuntu-based VM from GCP and set up Docker on it. Assuming that you have set up Docker on Ubuntu-based VM, let's go ahead and set up Postgres database. Here are the high-level steps involved in setting up Postgres database using Docker. First, we have to pull Postgres image, then we have to create containers for Postgres, then we have to start the container. We can also review the logs to ensure that container is created without any issues. I am going to demonstrate using Docker on Ubuntu-based VM. As long as you have Docker running on any operating system, you should be able to follow the same steps and it should work without any issues. Here are some of the important commands to manage images and containers. With respect to managing images, we use docker image main command. In that, we have commands such as pull, rm, and build. Pull is the command which can be used to pull the images from the docker hub which is nothing but repository for the images. To pull Postgres image, we just have to say docker image pull Postgres or docker pull Postgres. It will take care of pulling the image for us. If you want to delete unused images, you can just say docker image rm or docker rmi. It will take care of deleting the image for us. If you want to build a custom image using a docker file, you can use docker image build or docker build. Here are some of the common commands which we use to manage the docker containers. We can create the container with the image by saying docker container create. You can start the container by saying docker container start or docker start. You can run the container by saying this. Run is nothing but image pull plus container create plus container start. It will check if the image exists. If the image exists, it will try to create the container. If the container doesn't exist, then it will try to start the container. If the image already exists, if container already exists, Docker run will just bring up the container. It is widely used to streamline the process of pulling the image, creating the container, and running the container directly. You can review the logs by saying Docker container logs. You can remove the container by saying docker container rm. However, the container has to be stopped. If you want to stop the container and remove the container in one shot, you can use hyphen f command, which will take care of stopping and removing the running container. You can also list the containers by saying docker container ls or docker ls. For most of these commands, we have alternatives without image or container as keyword in the command. For example, we can say docker rm to remove the container and docker rmi to remove the image. These are the commands to pull the Postgres image, create the container using that image, start the container, and also review the logs. First, let me run this command called as docker pull Postgres by copy pasting into the CLI or Linux based terminal on our VM. It will take care of pulling the image for us. It might take a bit of time based upon the internet speed between the server on which you are trying to run the command and the Docker Hub. If you are running this on platforms like GCP, it should be pretty fast. As the image is pulled, you can review by saying docker images and you should be able to see the Postgres image here. It have pulled the, using the latest tag. Once the image is pulled, you can run this command called as docker container create or docker create. As part of this command, we have the name tag or name argument to give the name to the container. So the container name is sms underscore pg. Typically, Postgres will be running using port number 5432 as part of the container. We are trying to publish that port on which the database is going to run to 5433 on host. There are several reasons why I'm doing this. For now, just to make sure that you just use 5433 to publish the database port from container onto the host. On host, the database will be bound to the port 5433 even though it is actually running using 5432 as part of the container. Then you can give the name to the container by using hyphen h. The name of the container will be sms underscore pg in this case. This you will be seeing as part of the container. On the host, whenever you try to manage the container, this is the name which will be displayed. This one and this one can be different. If you remove this, it will use system generated host name for our container. To create Postgres container, we have to specify the Postgres password for the super user. So in this case, I'm using ITVersity. In your case, try to use a complex password. Don't use this simple password. Then you can actually specify the image name. This is nothing but image name. These are the information that will be used while creating the container. Name is uh, for the container. Hyphen P is primarily to publish the port of the database onto the host. Hyphen H is to set the host name for our container. Hyphen E is to pass environment variables such as Postgres underscore password. There are few other control arguments. We might be using that in future depending upon our requirement. For now, this is enough to create the container which will run Postgres database in it. Now, let me run this and it will take care of creating the container. To see if the container is started, you can actually say docker ps. You can see there are no running containers at this time. However, if you say hyphen A, it will display all the containers that are there at this time. 
there are two containers one is hello world and second one is sms underscore pg the name of the container is hw which is created using hello world image and the name of the container which is just created is nothing but sms underscore pg using postgres both of them are in hibernate or dormant state they are not running now to start this container sms underscore pg which is created using image postgres you can use this command called as docker container start sms underscore pg it will make sure that the container is started for us once the container is started if you run docker ps command you will see that the sms underscore pg container with image postgres is running here also you can see that uh, the port 5432 on which the database is running is published to 0.0.0.0 column 5433 which will be on the host now to ensure that everything is normal with respect to this uh, container you can actually review the logs by running this command you can see the last line and it is saying database system is ready to accept connections also you can review that the database within the container is running on port number 5432 however it is published to 5433 on the host because we have specified that as part of uh, creating the container you can see the details with respect to publishing the port this is very important to understand because when we try to connect using tools like sql alchemy to the postgres database running as part of the container we will be using 5433 port not 5432 port that being said this is how you should be able to create the container and validate whether the container is running or not successfully and as part of the container we already have the postgres database let's understand how to access the postgres using docker cli